Welcome to GA Style people and today we've got this E46 this is one of my vehicles and we will be oh you can see a wet patch typical E46 <laughs> well that's nothing it's just a wash up fluid dropping up the uh, dripping there so I'll sort it later it's not all about that today today this is all about the sound system I've had this car quite a while now and I've done a boot build in here. I've got a four order Pioneer Champion Series Pro sub in there, as you can see yourself, with the loudest amplifier and stuff like that. But what it is that uh, there's not that much of a tweeters and mids and highs, they're quite missing because the speakers in these cars are crappy and all that stuff so what i'm going to be doing is basically we'll be upgrading these doors um we'll be upgrading the parcel shelf and to be honest this parcel shelf is actually going to be coming out and i'll show you in a bit what is actually going in <coughs> so this head unit well, let's say, yes, it's cool, it's got a screen and blah, 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 but it's too slow, long time to wait, and quality is, you know what I was going to say, quality is quite a bit crappy as well, so it's time to do something about it, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to pull the head unit out of there, out of my silver BMW I've got a pull in there um, I can't remember now but it's a uh, single din just a single head in it's gonna be going in here uh, nice and simple we'll pull that one out put that one in uh, regarding the door speakers I am putting an amplifier in here it's gonna be a right rainbow 4 channel amplifier so most of the wiring out of there well, have to be coming out to go inside of here because I'm still trying to find the amplifier for that one, so never mind about that. Uh, we'll be installing MTX component speakers, I will be using factory tweeters because the MTX components are both second hand and didn't come with, with, tweet, with tweeters, unfortunately. So I need to improvise for the time being, and we'll have new shelf in there. We'll have eight in the half, uh, sorry, eight inch speakers in there instead of them little ones uh, in a, my own custom made parcel shelf, which used to be in the silver one. Since now I'm only running the front doors in there, I'm not wanting any rear speakers. This is gonna get redone and we'll be going in the disco. And then what else? Well, yeah, so basically. We'll be running base knobs we'll be, because I haven't got a base knob in there, so I will be running that one in here, installing it somewhere. Um, base knob, base knob, uh, head unit, front speakers, rear speakers, and should be wicked by the end of the day. And but yeah, all about that. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna be cut on with stripping this car out now and so i don't need these seats in here i don't need this front seat because amplifier is going to be going underneath this seat and then i need to rip that parcel shelf out uh basically strip all that strip all this strip all the door cards and everything so i can install new speakers and stuff like that strip this out basically strip everything in this car and yeah so basically I'm not gonna be filming this in here in this video you will be able to find out how to remove front and rear seats and the parcel shelf uh, on a separate video and how to remove front door cards you will be able to find that video in uh, in my channel as well so there will be two different, two separate channels, uh, two separate videos for things, how to take things apart. I'm not going to be taking a video of the head unit because this is after the model head unit really. I might just time lapse it just so you have some sort of 
just just for fun really but uh what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna get cotton get all these seats out and proceed this crazy upgrade <laughs> so i made the right mess out in my car everything is out this is the shell that is going in uh, i'm gonna be putting some leds behind the mesh and basically i'm gonna have to I'll be cutting these this thing off here because i don't need it it's in my way and for me to actually fit it with that i would have to cut the cut the shelf which i'm not doing because I don't want to, I don't need to. I'm gonna be going doing different ways so everything is stripped out here. Um, what else, what else? It's all stripped out inside here apart from the head unit and the speakers. I'm gonna leave that for the very last. Uh, so what's the crot now? Yes, you can see a big massive hole in there. You can, oh, I will be arguing with you until I'm dying that about the structural rigidity and all that crap yes it's weakened but if you compare the, the one that comes with a fold down seat when it comes with a fold down seat the rigidity on the specs is way less than what it is on this that has the wall so basically i've just converted my car from from a flat seat from a solid seat to a fold down seat so I don't really care what you want to say so you can argue in comments but I don't care my car do what the hell I want with it and there's no problem with it at all and so what we'll be doing is I'm gonna cut these off because that shelf does not have the headrests anymore uh, headrest delete who needs them headrests anyways uh, we'll cut that I'm gonna take that out sound then the shelf sound in like most of the places apart from these high spots because my speakers are literally sitting just up or maybe i will still put them on doesn't matter but this all needs to be sound deadened uh that's the reason why i'm not cutting no holes no nothing no need for it this is going to be nice structure this is the structural part this in here anyways so you definitely don't want to really cut this unless you're going to be putting some braces in or i don't know whatever but now i'm gonna crack on with all this i'm gonna mask off my windscreen uh, rear windshield uh, mask the doors whatever i need mask up as well so i don't get any damage from cutting these things out i'm gonna cut these out and then i'm gonna try and put a shelf in see how it sits should sit all right because it's still the same e46 like what i have in there that's where it came from came from that one so yeah let me set this camera up and get it all done and get it all sorted <laughs> Everything's gone all good. These have been cut. I'm gonna clean the bear off now and shelf is sorted, shelf fits in perfectly fine as I thought it would. Um basically what I'm gonna be doing is now I'm gonna hoop all this crap, whatever lo loose stuff, uh wash it off and we'll be sounding in the top. Once it's all sounded and we'll be putting the bits back together, 
I might actually go and spray the plastic thing in satin black just so it all kind of matches in together instead of having it one piece of grain there I think it would look stupid so I'm gonna go do that I'm gonna clean all this stuff sound then and yeah that will be it the factory cables are staying in because I'm gonna be making my own loom that will connect into these cables so I'm gonna make this shelf plug and play type of thing so it'll be nice easy accessible removable and stuff like that if So then it's all finished now, everything's nice and lovely, nice and solid, we're gonna have no unwanted noises, now uh, I'm gonna proceed, I'm gonna bring the plastic part that goes in there, I've just sprayed that uh, satin black so it's gonna match with a black shelf, because the shelf isn't staying blue, whatever the hell it is there. Shelf is in stained blue, shelf is going black, so um, I will be doing that later, but I'm going to hide that in and uh, sort the wires out for the, sort the wires out for the speakers, uh, sort the connectors out, uh, I think I'm going to go for something plug and play, I don't know, I'm going to have to come up with something, and yeah, from here, now I've I've got to put back the seat belt covers and also it's all the little bits and bobs but I'm just gonna crack on. So I put the little plastic black back black black back all that sort of stuff in this little bits and bobs and off. Uh, now it's the time for the amplifier to go on well to go in this is where it's gonna be going I'm gonna trace it around and basically cut it out and then sink it down in so it sits nice and flush I can still use my seat up and down with no any problems so yeah I'm gonna get down to this one cut it out make it work and then I'm gonna run the cable power cable I'll get the ground from there I'll clean this all up, this is nice solid ground in here, clean it all up and we'll be good to go. So yeah, let's get down a funny part. So 
Also, I've done a few things around the power cable that goes along there and then up and above and goes there to my capacitor in the back because I've fitted the capacitor on this side here so this will attach to the positive terminal I've got nice trick wires all the way around here so I'm using 4 gauge for everything and or whatever it says 4 gauge and then ground nice thingy down that will press it down when the seat goes on so that's this sorted I need to tap in the remote wire to put the wire for the speakers sorry to turn remote turn on I think I don't even need the remote turn on for this one but I uh, never mind I'll have a look um, I took the glove box out to get some of my old cable RCA's because I'm gonna be putting new ones this is was only single ones since Chinese shit tell with single thingy apart from Kenwood so um, now I believe it's time for me to get the head unit out get this all prepped for the single din to go in so I can start running all the RCA's um, I still need to run the need to run the remote base knob oh, I'm gonna have to be installing it somewhere in here nice and neat uh, yeah quite a few things to do so I'm not gonna be filming much of taking this apart it's only just pop this out pop this out and that's it so I'm gonna I'm gonna film something in between definitely but for the time being I'm gonna get this heading it out and start installing running some uh, wires RCA's and that for the new setup so yeah let me get down to business So the update, uh, as you could see, I've done the head in it. Well, I took the head in it out, put the single cage back in, um, run some RCAs, so subwoofer front and rear. Uh, now I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing about the base knob. So what I'm going to be doing is, I think I'm going to take this one apart and I'm going to install it there. Or, I don't know, I'll have it in there. No, it's not going to work there. Yeah, I'm going to go for there. So I'm driving around, it's not, not here. But it's easier for me to have it there, so I'm gonna have a base knob there. Uh, I'm gonna run all them wires as well. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to take all this now apart so I can pull this out. See if I've got exactly enough space to actually install one of these big things, whatever the hell it is. And yeah, hopefully it works. If not, then I'm going to have to find an, an alternative place where to put it. But for time being, I'm going to crack on again and enjoy the show.
Base number's all in, everything is cool. Works lovely, nice and solid, plenty of plays. Definitely recommend installing them, installing a base nut in here, because it's very handy in your drive. Well, with me with automatic, it's quite handy. You just go bump if you need more base, less base, whatever base. So, that's it, around the wires. Uh, now, I'm gonna have to go to the workshop and finish this fucker thing whatever the connector so i need to make it shorter because there's too much wires going on in here and i just don't want things to start getting away and stuff like that so let's go to the workshop sort the wiring now for here uh, and then we'll be sorting the wiring out obviously for the speakers because i'm gonna be sending i'm gonna be making a special harness from here to the amplifier and then that way i don't have to run new cables in each door uh, for the amount of power what i'm gonna be running in, the, in this car it's not gonna need like thick massive cables these cables are quite decent quite solid so it will be all fine but apart from that uh, that's it basically in here so let's go to the workshop sort that wire now and we'll be fitting all the rest in hopefully I'll be able to finish all the day but I doubt it really because there's quite still a lot of stuff to do I still need to recarpet the Still need to recarpet the thingy, the pass, the shelf, parcel shelf for the speakers. So the connectors out for the speakers. So the connectors there. I've already got a connector as I'll show as when I'm as I'm installing them, whatever whatever I'm using. And basically, yeah. So I'm gonna cut on, go to the workshop, get this wiring sorted, and get it installed. <laughs> 